What's going on YouTube? Today I got a brand new YouTube video for you guys and if you guys were from a YouTube title in today's YouTube video I'm going to be showing you guys how I detail this Toyota Camry So as you guys can see these seats here are pretty dirty. They're pretty stained up The actual dashboard itself is not too bad. It doesn't look too bad overall here Just looking at it the center console. Um, just a little dusty um, just a quick little detail there coming around here to the back seat you guys can see that stains do get a little bit worse you guys can see we have some what looks like some baby formula you know candies and stuff like that just normal things um right here we do have a pretty bad stain we're gonna try to get that out with some of the enzyme cleaner and the folex and we have just some basic wrappers and stuff like that that can be vacuumed up come around to this side you guys can see same things baby formula um do remember when you do drop off your car to a detailer just remember 100 percent of the actual stains will not come out it's just almost impossible you want 100 percent to come out you just have to replace it um sometimes they do come out um like really really close to 100 percent. sometimes they don't it's just something that you know as a detail you have to communicate with the customer you know to set their expectations to a point where they're not expecting it to come out 100 percent. of course we're going to try 100 percent to clean it up but if i try everything and it's just not coming out then unfortunately um, it's just a permanent stain there on the actual seats and nothing can really be done about it So for today, we're gonna be using my VX 5000 steamer. We're gonna be using my mighty HP 60 um, Heated water extractor my vacuum and then here I have basically like my little tool bag here of stuff Let me go through this real quick. So we have two scrub ninjas right here detailing brushes I like these really soft ones foams up really well with the express interior detail right here from PNS. I really like this. I recommend this to every single um, detailer. We have my steamer attachment right here, my leather applicator, some clean microfibers, my enzyme plus chemical, my carpet and upholstery chemical. That's to clean the actual seats and carpets and stuff. And then we've got full legs for the worst stains. And then we have, a lot of people don't know about this, but it is the finisher peroxide that goes after you finish extracting and everything and that just goes on top of these seats and everywhere you extract to make sure no bacteria grows and it just neutralizes the chemicals so if water does end up hitting that spot again where you extracted um the chemical won't start to do the process again and lift up dirt and bring up the stain again so yeah let's get right into it So we have gotten all the vacuuming done. The carpets are all nice and vacuumed. The seats and the trunk is all nice and vacuumed. So now we are going to move into the actual detail phase of detailing the actual dashboard. So I like to start off with the actual driver's side right here. And then I like to move on to the back, back here. You know, get the sides, um, the doors and all that. And then I just work my way around the car in that order. Alright guys, so the interior detail is basically done now. So now we're going to go on and move to the shampooing process of the actual vehicle. For the shampooing process, we're going to shampoo the carpets on the bottom. We're going to shampoo the whole seats. 
um, and then we're just gonna do that all around the whole vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and start with the driver's seat. And the reason why I like to start with the driver's seat is just because it gives it more time to dry. If you start with the driver's seat, by the time you're done with everything, the driver's seat should be pretty much completely dry. Yeah, we got the doors done here. Um, it's nice and clean. I went ahead and steamed this. Didn't extract that just because it's a little piece. Makes it a little easier to just steam it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my carpet and upholstery cleaner and then my enzyme and then Folex. And then I'm going to agitate it. And then I'm gonna use my steam cleaner with a microfiber and I'm gonna put the microfiber on the steamer. Clean as much as I can with the steamer itself. And then I'm gonna go back with the extractor and then clean up the rest. So yeah, let's get started. guys so we have gone ahead and shampooed all of these seats and all of the carpets unfortunately 100 of these stains didn't come out it looks way 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 better i'll put it before and after right now 100 didn't come out and that's just because of how bad the stains were before this is all dry um i went over this twice and tried everything i could all the chemicals i could steamer extractor and everything and it just wouldn't come out um same thing with this little stain down here it looks like pen ink um, when I would go over it with the extractor and just nothing would come out. Um, so it was just dyed the fibers on the carpet. So that's unfortunately just going to have to stay like that. Let's go on to the next step, which is dressing the plastic. So I have here dynamic dressing from PNS. And I have just a regular applicator pad right here. So all I do is I kind of just apply it just like this. I don't want to put too, too much, but just enough, you know, a generous amount. You just want to go over the plastics and kind of shine them up and what this does is it applies a small little layer kind of like sunblock like you can kind of compare it to that it makes your plastic shine but at the same time it also protects it from cracks and from uv rays from discoloring your plastics or anything like that all right now that all the plastics are dressed you guys can see it's nice and shiny now now would be the time to go into the wash process so we're just going to let this sit now um leave the fan on in there just to keep the air circulating inside the vehicle um, all this we're gonna go ahead and clean up after because this is all gonna get wet when we are washing it all right guys so i've gone ahead and washed the whole vehicle now i dressed the tires and we are basically all the way done with this detail now i also wiped down the windows i cleaned them up so everything's all nice and cleaned up seats are all shampooed carpets are nice and clean inside look at that it's not gonna be a hundred percent but it is a hundred times better than it was before and that was also communicated with the client beforehand that you know what a hundred percent is not gonna come out but i will also try my best just look at that seat i'll show before and after this exact seat then i have my cool custom air freshener here and i also went ahead and restored their headlights for them if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, drop a like down below, and drop a comment if you learned something or if you have any other questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.